Hey, you like that intro? Brand new. Uh, do you like it? Is it just okay? Or do you really like it? Okay, I know it's not redneck like, like I would want, but man, there's not just a ton of options. I, I didn't see anything redneck, and, and that was pretty cool. That was the coolest one I've, I've seen by far. But if you think about it, rednecks, uh, if you watch wrestling, especially back in the 80s and 90s, we used to have barbed wire matches. Yeah, that's right. They put barbed wire on the ring ropes. Yep, redneck right there. Okay, let's get into MULN. We're looking at the 15-minute chart. And if you go back to the video yesterday, I thought that we would probably uh, be hanging in between $1.95 and $1.50. And I told you, if we got volume, uh, good volume that pushed up through 195 I told you where we might go. And then I told you if we come down to 150 and we broke through that where we might got to go where we might go. But I pretty much thought we were going to stay in between 150 and 195. And that's what we did. Uh, if you go back, let me pull my arrow up. Where are you, arrow? Where did you go? Okay. You're right here. So if you look yesterday on the 15 minute chart, we kept coming up to this 195 level and rejecting off of it. Remember we talked about the wicks on top of the candles. So we kept rejecting off of that. So today we start out low and we come down to about $1.57 was low. Still did not hit that $1.50 point I was hoping for. We screamed all the way back up to, you guessed it, 195, got rejected again. And now we're back at 160. So, my thoughts on this. So tomorrow, I am going to be looking to buy some more around $1.50 if we have a good reaction there. If we go to 150, the volume picks up and we bust through this like a hot knife through butter, I'm going to wait to right here. Okay? But if we have a good reaction right here at, at 150, and we get good volume up to 155, 160. I'm going to be in more, and I'm going to ride it and hope that we got enough volume this time to push through 195. Because if we can push through 195, it's being a strong resistance. I think we're going to have a lot of lift from here, and I think we could easily go to that next uh, resistance level. Uh, also, the volume today was, uh, I think, over 200 million. So we still got good volume on this. It's down from yesterday. But I think if we, we start pushing up toward here, the 195, I think this volume is really building up here. And we are going to bust through. So what's happening right here, you, you're asking, why is it so hard to get through 195? Well, if you go back two weeks ago, remember... The day we went up 145% right here, got to $1.95. Look at all this volume at these prices. So what you got going on here is people are trapped up here around the 190 range. So when the stock gets up to where they break even or almost even, they are selling. Okay, that's what usually happens at resistance line. You got people trapped up here. Once you clear them people out of the way, you're going to have new buyers up here. This thing can take off on you. Okay, let's look at the one-day chart and where I see this stock headed. Now, in the title, I've got a potential 400% uh, gain to $6, and I'm going to show you how I got to that. If you use the pitchfork, you can see on the daily here, you've got your low down here before this big run started. You're low around, what, 52 cents, somewhere around there. You ran up to $1.95, <clears throat> then you take your next low right here, and this creates the pitchfork. Well, if you project this out, this stock could potentially run to up over $6 in the short term. So $6 from where we're at at $1.60 right now is about almost a 400% gain. And if you look back, on the daily chart, six dollars is not out of the question. I mean, it, you were there back at the first of January. You were sitting right up there in the high fives, right there, five eighty-six. 
So six dollars is not out of the question, okay? And this has potential to even go up here and hit 12, 14, and take out all-time highs. You never know. If you ever get a short squeeze on this, there is no telling when this thing can run. Just look back last year at AMC. It went from like $5 to $70 in like a month. No, it doesn't take long. You get some momentum behind this. You get a lot of momentum, momentum traders trading with you. These things can fly. So anyway, I just wanted to bring this up and show you what I'm thinking uh, for today. Uh, for tomorrow, be watching this 150 level, see if it holds. That's a gap fill. I, I think that's really important that we go down and fill that. If we can hold that with good volume, then I think we got a shot to bust through 195. If we bust through 150 with high volume, look out below. 122 is your next stop, okay? So, anyway, that's just my take. That's the redneck take. I am not a professional trader by no means, so do your own due diligence. Never go all in on a stock, especially one like this. You know, only put in what you're willing to lose because you never know. These things can turn on you in a hurry. Either way, they can go up four or five hundred percent or they can go back down to 50 cents. So uh, be careful how you invest. Uh, redneck trader here, and I'm just telling you what the redneck's doing, all right? So until our next video, I will see you then.